beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed And if your life has been brought and tied to time, then like the clock, the clock is a revelation of how your life must move. When clock stops moving, you fix it or throw it away. If your life stays in one place, it's a mockery to God, it's a mockery to you, it's a mockery to all who are connected to you, that your life, like the clock, must turn. 41 from verse 10 to 20 fear thou not this is a word for somebody for i am with thee yes in the midst of the pain the disappointment i am with you the threat letter i am still with you a man gave a testimony i think it was just something to encourage you but i'm not sure it's a real story but he held the hands of jesus from that story i'm told and they were walking together in a desert place and then he got to a point where he noticed from the vision or so that there was just the footprint of one man alone and then in the end of it he turned and told jesus he said why did you leave me we i there were four footprints but i got to a point where i saw only two and jesus told him that was when i carried you the footprint you saw was not yours it was mine i knew that your strength had failed you in that desert so I carried you. While you were crying, not knowing you were carried on the wings of eagles, you wouldn't have survived it. Fear thou not. Do you know why God starts by telling you fear not? Because the truth is that life can make you fear. No matter how bold you are, the speakings of men versus the obvious results that you see in your life or lack of it, it can shake even the boldest of us. And he starts by saying, fear thou not, for I am with you. He said, be not dismayed. Another word is disappointed. He said, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help. I will help thee. I will uphold thee with my right hand of righteousness. We are reading to 20, 11. Behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. He said they shall be as nothing. And they that strive with thee shall do what? That's where I got the scripture that anyone that fights you goes down instantly. It says, all day that okay let's let's just read 12. no no go go just just go back to two. thou shall seek them and shall not find them even them that contended with thee they that war against thee shall be as nothing and as a thing of naught. 13. for i the lord thy god will hold thy right hand saying unto thee fear not why because i will help thee don't trivialize the help of God. 
don't when god tells you i want to help you rejoice when god says i want to help you is the same thing um this guy is locked up here he wants to come up but this is stopping him and i say i want to help you meaning i am stronger than him meaning i know something he doesn't know i want to help you he says fear not oh warm jacob jacob you are weak i know why does he call jacob a worm it's not an insult it's a description of your frailty fear not oh warm jacob and ye men of israel i will help thee saith the lord thy redeemer the holy one of israel reading to 2015 behold i will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument having teeth thou shalt thresh the mountains and beat them small thou shalt make the heel as chaff thou shalt fan them and the wind shall carry them and the whirlwind shall scatter them and thou shalt rejoice in the Lord and shall glory in the Holy One of Israel 17 when the poor and needy seek water and there is none and their tongue faileth for tests read it with me i the lord stop stop when the poor and the needy when they get to a point where there is no hope of deliverance by them strength they know that by themselves and their strength they cannot bring deliverance the bible says i the lord will hear them i the god of israel will not forsake them 18 I will open rivers in high places and fountains in the midst of valleys and I will make the wilderness a pool of water I will make it I will make the wilderness a barren life I will make the wilderness a pool of water I will make a destiny that has no business flourishing a pool of water and the dry land springs of water two more verses 19 i will plant in the wilderness the cedar the shatter tree the mitel the oil tree i will set in the desert the fir tree and the pine and the box tree together fruitfulness 20 the last verse that they may see and know and consider or wonder and understand together that the hand take it higher for me sing me that song take it higher 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 guys be sensitive that or lord Gogoro song sing it just one time oh lord Gogoro is turning things around Oh Lord, oh, 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 is turning things around. Oh Lord, oh, 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 is turning things around for my good. Yeah. Oh Lord, oh, 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 is turning things around. Oh Lord. wonder and understand together that the hand of the Lord had done this and if it cannot be done the Holy One of Israel had created it to create means to make out of nothing what needs to be moved should be moved what needs should be brought to be brought what is not there should be created 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 carry carry a a potato 
wrap it somewhere make sure that there's no air there's nothing leave it there for a few days in spite of the fact that there's no air it will still rot and when you open the rot you will still see worms inside how they got there is a miracle that's the same way no matter how the enemy closes every access God says when did I start needing a runway when did I start needing ladder to come to the earth when did I start needing a loudspeaker for creation to hear me I am creator when God speaks it doesn't matter where it is even if the bones in the valley of Ezekiel are under the earth when his voice comes echoed by the voice of the prophet the Bible says bone came out listen carefully if you don't believe what I'm teaching you are wasting your time here tonight take your eyes away from the mountains and say Lord you are going to recreate my life there are things you will have to turn tonight around for me like the streams of the Negev when you read further it says that those that 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 sow in tears will reap in joy he didn't just say those that sow money you can sow prayer and he told you the prayer to pray turn again my captivity like the streams of the Negev in the last few months I have been so passionate about calling forth the creative power of God to assist men I am learning afresh again after many years that God can help men no matter who you are if God does not assist you start crying because life will beat you down to your knees and veto whatever you think is a basis of confidence he said some trust in horses and some chariots but we there is there are a group of people that would trust in the name of our God I trust God tonight to change our lives I trust God tonight to move in a way until it marvels you it is not yet a notable miracle scattered here tonight are men and women alongside the challenges and the obstacles that mock God in our lives we have come from far and near many of us made tremendous sacrifices the question is do you believe that this God that we serve that this God can choose by his wisdom and by his love and mercy to visit a family to visit a man that God looks at you and says I have decided to come to you I've decided to hold your hand I've decided to lift you I've decided to give you a testimony God comes to a beloved sister and say my daughter they have laughed at you now they are ready to laugh with you like Sarah I have come to uphold you I have come to wipe your tears I have come to prove to men that the rejected stone can become the chief cornerstone you are called of God, but it's as if you are not called. No anointing, no results, no testimony. No one placing a demand on your grace. But something happens to you. God says, I'm coming to assist you. Hold my hands. God assists us by asking us to give him our hands. Do you know why? Because until your hand is holding him, he cannot move. You see, let me tell you this. Your hand holding him is proof that you trust that he will move when your hand is still busy trying to walk it your way you don't qualify for his help when he wants to help you he says place your hand upon my hand and you are now going to use your faith from hence not your hand let me be the one using my hand to clear the way let me be the one to make a way in the wilderness let me be the one to make pharaoh give you gold i can give you gold by creating but let's make a caricature out of pharaoh pharaoh you are the one who will give that gold There is a name God is called the father of spirits understand the revelation behind that name every human being is a spirit he resides in a body but God is the father the author every spirit hailed from him it was out of his spirit that every spirit came about and the Bible says he is the father of spirits meaning it is within his power to manipulate every human spirit to cause his purposes to come to pass any and every I spoke to a man this morning before leaving um, 
very touching the man stood he had been trying to see me and then at the airport he was there with his children and i looked at the man all his children one could not pay his school fees for four years final year had written his last exam but because of school fees they are taking him back to 200 level because he couldn't pay the poor girl the daughter was there the man was there standing and i said this is the signature of satan when satan comes to your life you can know he has a signature he will stamp it on your family do your worst he will stamp it on your destiny do your worst stamp it on everything around your life and when god comes to he will use his hand and erase it and said let me put my own and see who what devil will come to take it out of you i prayed for that man with all my heart i prayed for him passionately in that state of poverty and penury the children and the man they put together a seed i, I, I said can i ever accept this I, I collected the seed i prayed with all my heart and then i said look i i place favor may your seed become a tray let me put something upon it for you it's called the favor of god go back with this anointing and let it turn your life around that's the works of darkness some of us are seated here right now our loved ones are in such kind of chaos satan when satan does a thing you don't need to ask who did it he does it so clear that men will know it's his finger please don't confuse the works of darkness with the works of god the works of darkness is darkness the works of god is light that's why we're here to disagree with satan and insist until we see his power prevail over our lives is god speaking to us tonight the captivity of zion the captivity in your family the captivity in your life what is that obstacle that stands before you on the next level you see it but to touch it it looks like there is a resistance there is a limitation we are going to pray are you ready to pray tonight and then i begin to minister to you by the spirit oh god turn again my captivity like the streams of the naked lift your voice and cry believe me brothers and sisters when you pray god hears you in Palagato Sika Paragadaba, Breketeke Padaba Koseketeligada, In Pato Sikata, Eko Ton again the captivity, Mam Brekeke Banakata, Brekusakata, Kapereke, In Pakato Sika Paragade, Zakata, Ekuta, Breketeke Padaba Katabanegenibo, In Pata Brekes Teke Badaganabosa, In Brekete Sakata. Hallelujah. I'd like you to begin to mention by faith the things that must live your life this night, not tomorrow. Open your mouth and pray. Go ahead. <laughs> Mention what must leave your life tonight. Rakapata, Brekete Katosa, In Kapanda Kate Kata, Rekepata, Reponsi Palamana, Lekata Brakata Sekete, In Patata, Rekotata, Shepalamana, In Protosa Pata Brekete, Alabado Sikata, Hallelujah. Someone sent a few weeks ago, someone sent a very humbling text message. Please help those under the anointing there. A few weeks ago, someone sent a very humbling text message to my phone. 
out of seven graduates nobody has ever been called for employment not even not i'm not talking of I'm, i said interview seven graduates no one called for interview and the gentleman according to what he sent me he said he went to bed in the night to sleep and he just slept and that's what he said he said he saw me in the dream i came and i prophesied it was like a koinonia service i laid hands on him and i mentioned the name of an organization that will call him true story he said he woke up physically with an alert from that organization to come for an interview now i don't know whether or not they have given him the job i don't know that part but that's god at work from a dream prophecy you wake up physically with the alert you didn't apply ah. listen listen don't let men fool you this god bar let me tell you when god decides to help you don't tell him how he would do it your ways his ways are higher higher than our ways his thoughts higher than our thoughts when when you see it's an act of faith to let god choose how to surprise you yours is to place a demand on his integrity by faith and let him choose how to rise and bless you you may be asking god for a cup of tea whereas he's coming with a hamper for you lord one cup of tea and i'm grateful and god says no if i give you a cup of tea man can also give you let me come with a hamper in a way that you will know this is me are we together three things i want to tell you we'll pray one more time number one god can act very fast he looks slow until he rises from his throne to help you listen to what i'm telling you don't get used to the fact that just because sometimes it looks like god is too slow god can act mysteriously fast i was watching a documentary i like watching documentaries um and on, on a, a, a national geographic channel and then they were showing how these animals all these these sea mammals how they eat one another and sometimes with lightning speed a giant creature can in fractions of a second just dissect another animal and i said wow so don't be deceived by the weight that it is a giant creature doesn't mean it is slow that your god is mighty that heaven is his throne and the earth is his full stool doesn't mean it would take him 10 years to bend down to touch you he can touch you from his throne and you will feel it from the earth god we're talking god here number one god can act fast so that you don't limit god and say lord i know you will act but um no problem no number two listen very carefully God can surpass your wildest imagination. Now, it's difficult to understand, but you must believe it. God can surpass your wildest imagination. He can. He can. So that it's good that you bring your petitions before him, but that you allow your faith to expand to the capacity that can receive everything that God decides to give you. And then number three, satan and all the limitations that stand before you listen carefully have been defeated not will be defeated have been defeated what happens in a service like this is an establishing of that victory it's difficult to understand but you must believe this because the reality of our circumstances will not allow us to believe this is a fact but it's true because it came from the mouth of god himself that it is finished verdict is what we have come to enforce so that you don't stand and look at the limitation that stands before you and now begin to ask yourself questions but how will god do this promise how is god going to do this if god does it this way there's already a blockage here if god follows this way it will have to be five years before it happens if god uses this method my uncle already hates me and god says you only gave me three methods i have methods as infinite as my names i can use anything i can use a fish to give you coins i can use a donkey to speak to you 
I can use a bird to bring you bread. It doesn't always have to be men. It just has to be material bodies. I can use anything. Are we together? So tonight as we pray, why are we here? You have to understand. Number one, we are here. We are here to clear the way. The forces. Remember, there will always be forces that contend against the word of God. We are here to challenge them. Because most times those forces stand our way. They contend with prophecy. When the force that stands against your destiny is cleared away, you will be surprised how sometimes within minutes your testimony comes. Number two, we are here to allow the anointing of the Holy Spirit to produce possibilities in our lives. The anointing of the Holy Spirit is his force, is his instrument for producing change. He creates by his anointing. It is his word, but that word must be anointed. Are we together now? The word of God without an anointing on it for 30 years could not heal anybody, could not bless anybody. The word just roamed around the streets of Nazareth. But when the word became anointed, it became Christos, the anointed. So the word of God is coming to your life. I want you to be very sensitive, whether it is the prophetic word, whether it's an instruction to pray, whether it is the deliverance session. Don't just watch people fall and roll and do all of that. Let your heart connect. Be angry. There is an obstacle for sure. You go to bed in the night and all kinds of strange spirits molest you. You get up and say, it's all right. How can it be all right? If it's all right, who invited them to your life? Good things about to happen to you all of a sudden. Your enemies reach your destiny helpers before you and they give a bad word that closes your door, recycles your pain again. Then for many of us, what you need is that the anointing of the Holy Spirit will call forth the men, the men component. God helps by bringing men. God can agree with you. Men can disagree. You will still suffer. God agreed for David to become king. Samuel refused. David remained in the wilderness until Samuel agreed. Men can stop your breakthrough. It's not just demons. Men can stop your breakthrough. And not all men are castable. There are men who are gates even though they are hedonistic. God doesn't cast them. He gives you access to their heart. When a man's ways pleases the Lord, he makes even his enemies. There are some enemies you can't drive because they are still gates. Are we together? Lord, I'm ready for you tonight. Lift your voice and pray. pray Lord I'm ready for you this is my family hallelujah glory to the Lamb glory to the Father you are seated on the throne hallelujah glory to the Lamb Glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah, glory to Glory to the Father, you are seated on the Hallelujah, say hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father, you are seated on the Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Alléluia. Shabala kato Alléluia. Alléluia. Glory to the Father. You are seated on. Are seated on the throne, but be welcome here tonight. You are seated on the throne, you are welcome here tonight. You are seated on. Seated on the throne, you were seated on the throne, you were seated on. Hallelujah. Now let me do the singing. I'm going to sing this song once. I want those who are under the anointing while I sing. This instruction God is giving me. This same song. You guys have done your good music. Let me prophesy now with it. You'll be surprised to see what will happen. In here, outside, as I'm singing this song. If that anointing finds you, as you come out here, begin to rejoice. Because it is strange breakthrough. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bring them out. Shabalakato Sabadasiata. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. 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 No power can stand it. Glory to the Father. The forces must let you go. Hey, hallelujah. There's authority in the song that I'm singing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to my Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to they are leaving you now they are leaving you now I'm speaking by the spirit they are leaving you now there are chains over you leaving now There are chains leaving you now. I'm ministering by the Spirit. There are chains are leaving you now. Even the lawful captives. Kabarakatos. Chains. I'm seeing chains breaking from the hands of men. Chains. Be broken. The worship team already prepared our hearts. I command the chains to be broken. By the authority of this kingdom. 
be broken Shabarakatos. be broken be broken be broken be broken I'm commanding chains to break bring them out the anointing of the spirit is breaking chains overflow one two three online chains chains of captivity all kinds of bondages every force of darkness it's time for you to go it's time for you to go release their destinies hallelujah 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 glory to the father you are seated on the throne Now listen, God is giving me an instruction. Hold on. If there is any power associated with your family, you will know now by the fire that falls on you. This is what the Lord is telling me. I'm about to pray. That if there is anything that is demonic, responsible for the challenge of your family, get ready now. Because I see a wind of fire moving from this place right there, outside. I declare it by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let the fire of the spirit visit men and women and families now. Shabatakata. Keleto Soto Shabai. Hold on. Listen, I'm still praying. Listen to me. The Bible says that Paul was at a place, it was cold in the night, and they put wood together. When they said the a viper was there, but it could not be seen. But when they set fire on the wood, the fire exposed the viper. I declare Shabbatos Katadia by the fire of the Spirit, by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Every viper hiding in any family, hiding in any destiny, be exposed now. Be exposed now. Be exposed now, Shatakatosh. Be exposed now. Every viper, every snake, scorpion. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Where are the forces fighting your advancement? Forces fighting men's advancement. The Lord is judging them now. Judging them now. Judging them now. It's time for you to move forward. I command judgment. On the forces fighting your advancement I command judgment on the forces fighting your advancement overflow one lift your hands please everyone in overflow one lift your hands the Lord is ministering to me overflow one lift your hands there is a mighty deliverance that is coming there at the count of three overflow one i want you to shout jesus as you shout jesus i'm seeing gates with chains breaking 
are you ready now one two three lady that lady going back I'm looking at a lady but in the spirit I'm watching I'm not saying you're a bad girl my dear all I'm seeing is a serpent I'm not seeing a human being in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands I expose that serpent now glory to the father Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray a very interesting prayer. Don't mind me. Just allow me. I'm ministering under the anointing. I'm going to say exactly what I'm hearing in the spirit and if it doesn't sound logical don't worry just let me do the prayer snakes be judged snakes be judged snakes be judged snakes Serpents of the night, be judged. Serpents of the night, be judged. Serpents of the night, be judged. God is against you. Ebenezer, the helper of man, is against you. Snakes, I say it again. Be judged, be judged. No rest, no peace. Be judged. Snakes. Be judged. I'm seeing a lady vomiting something. That's what I'm seeing in a vision right now. I don't know what it is I'm seeing, but in the name of Jesus Christ, God is releasing people. There is victory. God is helping people. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is opening my eyes. And I'm seeing fire. Not impartation. Fire consuming people's head. And God is saying his restoration of lost glory. That's what I'm seeing. Restoration. Something that used to be in your life and all of a sudden faded away I'm seeing fire coming on people's heads where are they oh God I stretch my hands now let the fire bring restoration 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 help them please restoration restoration I command restoration of every lost glory even the lawful captive shall be delivered all those who are out in front under the anointing here I declare every legal grounds upon which any spirit is operating in your life at the count of three by the mystery of the blood it leaves you now one Two, three, go, 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 go out of their lives. In the name of Jesus, out of their lives. When the blood speaks, nothing else speaks again. Victory by the blood of the eternal covenant. Victory by the blood of the eternal covenant. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a family here and I'm seeing that the father in that family I don't know if it's out of pressure but went to a herbalist 
and they gave him something to go and bury in the house you may not even know it this is something that happened a while ago and whatever it is seemed to backfire when it came to money issues he didn't go and pay like give the herbalist whatever it is that's what god is showing me now and i'm seeing that because of that every door in that family everything just closed i'm going to pray lord wherever whoever represents that family here whether inside or outside or online i'm praying right now by the mercy of the god of heaven whatever enchantment and activities of darkness invoked by those herbalists i cancel it right now in the name of jesus i cancel it right now in the name of jesus i cancel it right now in the name of jesus i cancel it right now in the name of jesus Rebecca, 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 like Becky, Rebecca, Rebecca, I'm hearing a name, Rebecca. Rebecca. You are seated on the throne. Stand up. You are Rebecca. That's the person I'm talking about. Come. Stand up. You are seated on the throne. Madam, where are you coming from? You came from Abuja. Yes, I'm seeing you in a vehicle from Abuja yes, coming. You came from? alone? I came with my niece. And my younger brother and my cousins, they live in Zaria. You, One came from Kano. You, but you came from Abuja. Yes, I came from What's Abuja. What's your name? Asmao Rebecca. 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 Asmao. Come. It's time for your victory. Lift your hands. There is. Let her go now. I command the spirit oppressing you. You have come to Koinonia, the place where God dwells. In the name of Jesus Christ. The power that fights you. In the name of Jesus Christ. This woman is going to return with very strange testimonies. Mama, you are Rebecca. I'll pray with you. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy to you. The Lord has located you and end comes to your captivity. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Where are you from? Where are you from? I'm from Samnaka. Please help this woman. Are they... Are they this is Mama, they Rebecca. Mama, are you Rebecca? Rebecca. Huh? Rebecca. You are Rebecca, Mama? Okay. This one, too. I'm going to pray for you. Sometimes God gives a word and then I'm, I'm talking to you now, my dear. Where are you from? Saminaka. State of origin. Region. Kaduna. You are from Kaduna State. Yes. Come, I want to pray for you. There's trouble in your family. You are in need of the power of God desperately. Hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I bring to end this captivity. The lady that is going back, tap her, just tell her to look at me. Just look at me. It's over now, in Jesus' name. All of you are Rebecca. My dear, salvation is coming and anointing is leaving me to you and it's for your family. From next month, you will start hearing strange testimonies. Open doors. Mama, you are Rebecca. Who else is Rebecca? All of you are Rebecca. I'm going to pray for you. Kai, Ma, I have to pray for you. Yes, ma. The spirit of death is following your family. I'm, I'm not a prophet of doom. I want to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands over our mommy. Help her, please. I command the spirit of death one of you here, um, I don't know which of you, but I'm seeing an anointing coming on one of you in front here. There's one of you, an anointing is coming on you. Um, the Lord is bringing deliverance. Right now, you can't stand it. It's, it's the power of God. One of you, an anointing is coming on you for strange deliverance. Mama, be free in the name of Jesus Christ. There's, there's serious witchcraft. Excuse me, just a minute. 
I command that spirit to leave this lady now. You must go. You must let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ, he, he who the Son sets free is free indeed. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Uh, this, this mama doesn't speak English. I think she speaks Yoruba. She, she speaks Yoruba. Who is? Ejimin, can you come or someone? Just tell her the Lord is bringing breakthrough. You can whisper it now here. It doesn't have to be. It's your mother. Come. The Lord is breaking. The Lord is breaking a yoke. The yoke of delay. Ah, as I just mentioned delay, I just saw fire. Just left me. As I just mentioned that word delay. I'm about to pray on it. But since, since I just saw the fire, let me just do what I saw in the spirit. The spirit of delay. Be judged now. The spirit of delay. I say it again. Be judged now. The spirit of delay. The spirit of delay. Be judged now. The spirit of delay. Open your heart. Open your heart and pray. The spirit of delay. Be judged now. Any kind of delay. The spirit of delay. Be judged now. The spirit of delay. Be judged now. Be judged now. Be judged now. Breakthrough for your family. God is bringing breakthrough. Mama, God is bringing breakthrough. Your son will tell you in Yoruba. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's something on you that makes wrong people come to you. I have to pray for you. I just, I'm looking at you. Very bad people come to you for bad reasons. No serious person. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to start bringing long. It's not, there is something, there's a spirit in you that attracts those kind of people. They will never pass you and go free. They must turn back. And this thing is destroying your life. Hold my hands. Shout Jesus. Look at this. So you just think it's just love. You are in love with a beautiful girl. It's not just love. Out now. Go. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. I've not seen this in a long time. The Lord is showing me a map again. And this map is going to Kogi State. I'm laying my hands now. Kogi State. Let that anointing begin to find people within that region. Now I'm praying. You come within that region. Let the anointing find you. Deliverance for that region now. Shatakoto Seketea. Kogi State. Deliverance now. From any strange power, any force of darkness. If you don't know your state of origin and you are from there, you can know it now by the anointing. In the name of Jesus, anyone from that region, that's the region the anointing of the Spirit is focusing on now. I command deliverance now. Shabatakato Seketeba. Shabrakato Skata. The strong men within those regions. Let God's people go now. Release them right now. The spirits of the grave. The spirits of ancestry. I curse you by the God of heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father. 
please lift your hands. We'll pray for the sick shortly. But there are people here. Why God brought you tonight is to receive the healing anointing. I just saw it. I don't know where they are. They're in almost every overflow. There are representations. Lord Jesus, anyone who you brought here to receive the anointing for healing, let that anointing come. This is your moment now. Receive it now. Ordained by God to receive this anointing today. Ordained by God to receive the grace for healing. I'm seeing that anointing coming on two people in worship team. Two people, worship team. That anointing, that grace. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. The anointing to heal the sick. You don't just pray for the sick. There is an anointing. I say it again, the anointing to bring healing transport the power of God from the throne to their lives receive that anointing right now hallelujah hallelujah mama come please please help her she's not running by herself it's under the anointing mama I see a new dimension of healing coming on you a new time just hold her a new dimension of healing in the name of Jesus Christ ah, this mama is going to pray for the sick and you'll be surprised there is an unusual anointing upon you for barrenness for barrenness I'm praying help that lady please in the name of Jesus receive that anointing mama in the name of Jesus Christ the grace the grace in the name of Jesus Christ the lord is asking me to stand in front of you just to stand in front of you that's the instruction i'm getting the light shines out of darkness god is removing something from your chest i'm seeing something leaving you I don't know what this is, but in the name of Jesus Christ, I stand in front of you. Be free right now. Be free right now. Be free right now. All of you who are standing here in the name of Jesus, I agree with you. And I declare, come, let me touch your child. I'm going to pray for favor. When you hear me say favor, lift your hands and receive. You need it in your life. Too many people have taken advantage of you. Even as... I'm seeing people laughing. That's, that's why I just stopped. This is very strange. A strange anointing is a sign of victory in the spirit. That's what the Lord is showing me. Strange. It's an anointing. Very strange anointing. You see, if you are not spiritual and you don't understand why God does these things, it's not showmanship. The Bible says he's, he filled their mouth with laughter. I read it for you. You can't stand it. It's something that laughter you see is warfare. It's not just laughing hysterically. I release it. The families that is for, the individuals that is for, laughter is a weapon in the spirit. It disarms the enemy. So my dear, when I'm praying for favor, please you stand to receive it. Eh? But I bless your child. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. There's someone, your family member has been missing. This is more than one year. Who is that person? Because the person who is missing is still alive. Let, if she's the one, who is missing? Don't come and tell lies here. Are you sure? My father, I Your talked father. to you about it before. You told me about yes, it? Yes, and you remember. prayed. Where, what happened? When last did you see him? 2016, August, Saturday. He told me he was coming and that was the end. 
from where? From Edo State, Benin. And you've not seen him? We've not seen him since date. We are still in search of him. How about you? My cousin's sister. Your cousin's sister is missing? Yes. Sir. All these people, they are, leave them. Their loved ones are just fine out once they are don't please if, if you are not related to the people don't please don't come here we're going to pray generally if you if you do it like that there will be chaos how about you yes, sir, my in -law. your in-law yes sir what do you mean your in-law from the United States okay all of you your loved ones are missing your loved one is missing who is that your younger brother yes, missing since when 2014 2014 yes they've not seen him yes sir you see how satan works how can somebody leave home for you to sympathize with people put them in your shoes imagine that your child left home and said mommy i'm coming and never comes back I'm prophesying to you three years. Your child went and said, Mommy, I'm coming. Until today. Come, Mama. Give her the mic. Hold on, Mama. Your, your child is alive. This boy, you see, are they twins or is he the same person? This one. This is the only one. What happened to him? He left school. I put him in APU, he refused. Polly, he refused. He's busy taking drugs, going about lying to people that his parents are dead. All over our times, they call me in the police station or your state, but I caught that he's arrested. I don't know how they set him free at times. You see, our, honestly, let me speak to us young people. It's, it's okay, Mama. He's your only son. That's all. Yes. You, that's how you know it's a spirit. Because the devil sat down and saw that these boys will bring joy to the mother. And then the devil decided to, it, will the lady not marry and go? Huh? He's very intelligent. In school, he was in the AP, he left the school and go away. What's his name? Awal is his name. Awal. Awal. Yes. We are going to pray. Like a month ago, from what God is showing me, this boy had problem with police. They were smoking. They were smoking Igbo. Police came and packed them with his friends. This is what Mama. Let me talk to you now. I'm the one talking to you. I know. You see. When you see me pray about this, this drug, this thing, that drug is a spirit. It's more than with due respect to doctors and this thing. It's not just because of the physical thing it gives. I'm telling you, that thing is a spirit. If you have a child or you know someone that takes that thing, counseling is not the way out. There is a real spirit that must be casted out. Are we together? Some of you here, right now seated in this program you love god but that what what they, they call it codeine again uh, mama 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 don't worry it's, it's 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 okay it's okay because you see the way these boys are desperate for this money they will coin every kind of story and beg you and lie you give them 100 naira you give, once you give them enough to take this thing they will disappear and go and rubbish it. Let me tell you, there is none of those boys that is bad in himself. There is none of those girls that are bad in themselves. It's the influence of spirits. Nobody will be killing himself and eating death like that every day. Mama, you have come for miracle service. God will do something about you in this situation. Who is this, my brother? It's my mom, younger brother. Your mom, younger brother? Yes, for missing. over 10 years, we have not seen him. 10 years, yes, we have not seen him. Oh, pray. How about you, sir? My elder You're brother. the pastor that came from Warrior. Yeah, okay. From Delta State. From Delta State, okay. Uh, my elder brother was missing about 20 years ago. We really forget, forgot about him in Ghana. He was in Ghana and he's, and he's yes, missing. Yes. Okay, let me pray with you. It's an instruction. Because some of the situations now, they are even very difficult situations. 
I, I don't know in myself whether some of them are alive or they've gone to be with the Lord or whatever. But my job is to pray. Because God has instructed me to pray. Mama, please stop crying. You came here with faith in your heart. Let me tell you, you must eat the fruit of your labor. And I'm saying this, I'm using this mother as a point of contact, not just to every mother here, but to all our mothers. The force that wants them to labor and die in pain, go to their graves in pain, we challenge that force now. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's an error to sow and someone reap. In the name of Jesus, every true mother that has labored to sow, may they reap in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm praying. Everyone here whose loved one is missing and alive and walking in the earth here, I connect them back now in the name of Jesus. I'm praying for you. I connect them back now in the name of Jesus. Jesus called Lazarus. And when he called Lazarus, he came out. I call them by their various names in the spirit. For as long as they are alive and walking on this earth, I put a desire in them to reconnect to their families. Those who have been jailed because, you see, some of these people, let's be very fair, some of them, they, they smuggle their way out of the country. They go to Libya, they go to all of these places. Some of them go to do prostitution, unfortunately. Some of them go because they want to make money. Someone tells them, come, travel, and all of that. So some of them, they may even be in cells in some of these places you may never know. But regardless of the case, for as long as they are on earth, we cry for mercy in the name of Jesus Christ. May they be reconnected back to you in Jesus' name. God bless you. Please go back to your seat rejoicing. Go back to your seat rejoicing. Go back to your seat rejoicing. I hope someone is holding that person shouting me. My friend, come. You are doing your ushering work, but I will pray for you before you go back. Eh? Look at me. I'm looking at you. The Lord is telling me to tell you, August 7th is a month that breakthrough will begin in a very strange way for you. Hold my hands. August 7th, don't forget, write it. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for this gentleman. You have revealed to me August 7th. I prophesy to him in the name of Jesus Christ. May God change your life within that time. May God change your life within that time. May God change your life within that time. I'm seeing a ring, a ring in the spirit. I'm seeing a ring in the spirit. I'm seeing a ring. Ordinary, when you see a ring, you would think maybe God is saying he's bringing marriage. Maybe marriage to families. But this one, God is delivering people from spirit entities with all kinds of fraternities over their lives. Right now, I stretch my hands. That's why it's important to let the Holy Ghost interpret things. I know that many of you may not believe what I'm praying, but you just allow me to pray. Every spirit entity covenanting to you as a husband or as a wife, I set fire on this ring I see in the spirit. Be free from them now. Ladies, be free now. I command those spirit entities to release you in the name of Jesus Christ. For the gentleman, I command freedom for you now from any entity laying claims over you. You go to bed and they come to you in the night. They try to molest you. They try to sleep with you. They can use faces of people you know or you don't know, or animals. Anyone, 
under the sound of my voice who any stranger comes to him in the night while you sleep fire is coming on you now 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 I command that they let you go now for some of us when good things are about to happen just when you are about to get it you go in the night and someone comes to sleep with you in that dream as soon as you wake up from that experience no matter what it is it's gone whether it is favor whether it is breakthrough fire is still speaking i'm praying at the count of three oh god you who is a mighty deliverer i pray that your anointing will search for these ones and bring them deliverance now one two three let there be deliverance for you now deliverance for you now from any spirit entity laying claims on your destiny hallelujah thank you Jesus this lady with lime yes you come no look at me look at me I'm talking at that one with you yes come where are you coming from Benway Benway State look at me look at this are you seeing she just stood there and while I was looking I just saw a spirit to her look at me and turn the face now it's very funny how these things work see one of the prayers you must pray in your life is for the grace of open eyes if your eyes are closed in this life and all that is open is your brain you will be in trouble open eyes is not something just for prophets it's one of the true riches of the kingdom you must cry that God will open your eyes. Not to see nonsense around, to see something that is destiny molding. Now look at this girl. How will I stand and see someone there and call her out? Imagine that this lady went back like this. To her she will now say, oh God, so this is how you didn't locate me. Sensitivity, discernment is a priceless spiritual gift. Sensitivity. It comes by praying in the Holy Ghost. It comes by praying in the Holy Ghost. Not wishing. Praying in the Holy Ghost. You activate your organs. You have to pray for a long time in the spirit. For your spirit to be heightened. To be able to perceive spiritual things. Otherwise you will get into all kinds of error. Wrong perception. That you have started seeing things does not mean they are clear. You must continue in the place of prayer until it becomes accurate. I just showed you the thing of ring now. Some of you may see that ring now and then tell somebody it's, it's not marriage as it were. You see, it was something else, but it's a ring. This lady has bad luck in her life. Very bad luck. I have to pray for you. she just came quietly standing this I would have shared the grace and the dear lady will go back and then it will look as if God is not in the place in the name of Jesus I'm seeing you cough I'm seeing her cough that's what I'm seeing in the spirit that she's beginning to cough I don't know why what is having to do with coughing but in the name of Jesus Christ let everything that speaks against you leave now this lady swallowed something in the dream. Someone came to her, gave her something, and she swallowed in the dream. If you ever say you like this girl, everything in your life goes down immediately. 
I'm not saying she's a bad girl. Please don't get me wrong. I'm teaching her something here. She's not a bad girl, but this is the operation in her life. There are people, do you know why we minister to people like that? This is what sometimes prophets see, that if they don't get discernment, they go around saying, someone now may not see this correctly and say this girl is a witch. He's not exactly wrong in terms of saying that there is war associated with her life. You can come now and hold her hands as a businessman in two months of relationship. Everything goes down. And she knows she loves God. But if you are not discerning, you will now call the poor girl a witch. And everybody will start running away from her. She's not a witch. There is just a challenge. And then if you also say she's alright like that and somebody marries her, that guy's life will be torn into pieces. This is the testimony of so many families. It's an uncomfortable truth, but it's true. Human beings carry spirits. They carry presence. Father, liberty for her. The devil is already... Ah. Someone in overflow one and overflow three is being delivered from fibroid. 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 I just saw a hand reaching into someone's like someone's stomach to bring out something. In the name of Jesus Christ, that devil of fibroid, we'll pray for the sick shortly. We'll be very fast at it. Fibroid is gone now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Our time is gone. Can we pray for the sick very quickly? Now listen. I want you, if you are coming here to be prayed for, come full of faith. You don't have to say what is wrong with you. If you are not asked, don't worry. And all of us who are going to pray for the sick, we are going to make this very fast. Are we together? Now, um, as always, overflow one and part of overflow two. Part of overflow two. You will come in here, come and stand in front here. Uh, no, no, not main auditorium sorry not overflow one the main auditorium and then half of overflow two allow them to come here overflow one move to your projector stand please the remaining part of overflow two and the, those standing at the roadside you can move to the projector stand overflow three all of you trusting god for healing please move to your projector stand we have about 10 15 minutes to do this very quickly while we are doing that ushers and uh, I don't know whatever whoever needs to help them submit your prayer requests very quickly if you have your prayer request you are coming out here for healing come come there is a God that heals please if you have your prayer request you can lift it up write it very quickly no no the ushers will collect it ushers and, and then if, if there are not many PR department can help them let's make it snappy or any other department can help them. Let's let's make it very. We are going to make it very fast. Please and please. Let there be orderliness once you have been prayed for. We may not have time to take testimonies. We are just going to pray very, very quickly. Hallelujah. Okay, let's see. Um, Ejimi, Ejimi and Benga, overflow three. Two of you can go to overflow three. Um, let's see. Pastor Alpha and Promise, overflow one outside. Pastor Femi and Kenny overflow two let's do it like that I'll, I'll pray I'll pray for the ones here by myself hallelujah let's pray together in the name of Jesus everybody say amen, amen. father we declare corporately that your healing power will begin to flow heal the sick deliver the oppressed and in the name of Jesus bring yourself glory by the power of the Holy Ghost in Jesus name Please make sure while we are praying, the ushers also come to these people in front so that they can have it. We'll be very, very fast so that we finish on time. Thank you, Jesus. You're the name above every other name. Hail Yahweh. Great Yahweh. You're the name above every Yahweh, great Yahweh, 
It's not a ritual. Declare that everything I've dropped here in the name of Jesus becomes an answered prayer. Please, ushers, make sure make sure that we have everyone's request here. Those online connect by faith. I'm praying now. Make sure you are praying. Prophesy. Are you praying? Father, I believe. I believe. If the devil didn't stop your request from getting here, he will not stop it from being answered. Father, in the name of Jesus, let there be miracles. 
I anoint this request. I anoint them in the name of Jesus. I anoint them by the power of the Holy Ghost. I anoint them in the name of Jesus. Signs and wonders, breakthroughs, impossible situations. Turn things around, oh God. You have declared that you are turning things around. Turn around everyone's captivity. Turn around everyone's captivity. Let there be testimonies. Break the spirit of delay. In the name of Jesus Christ, we decree and declare. Hallelujah. Every time we do this, we do this one as instructed. And then number two, because it's an opportunity to have everyone's desire and everyone's request here. Father, I stand upon these requests by faith. Turn them into testimonies, oh God. Turn them into testimonies, oh God. Turn them into testimonies, oh God. Lord, these requests are a representation of the needs of your people. I stand, oh God, in the name of Jesus on their behalf, and I cry, let fire fall upon this request. And I prophesy to you on account of this request that the Egyptians you see today, in the name that is above all names, may you see them no more forever. I say it again that the Egyptians you see today, may you see them no more forever. Some of you, before this month is over, you will return with strange testimonies. It's still two days or a day or so to the end of the month. Between now and even tomorrow, may you return with strange testimonies. Whoever must be judged for this prayer to be answered, may it be so. When these limitations are broken, let me tell you, you will find yourself finally, you will see that doors will now be open. And do you know what? Listen, every time you force a door to open in the spirit, you bring others into that experience. Listen, hear this. Do you know there are many of us here, our parents have gone for meetings to try to break some of these things. It's just that where they went, they did not sustain the kind of anointing and spiritual intelligence it takes to break. So our parents tried and it didn't work. And God said, you, you are the one that has been chosen. Go, go for the family. Go for the family. Many of our family members have gone to all kinds of prophets. They have collected their money, plundered them, did everything. Nothing to show for it. We hear the chains falling. Tonight, the waters will be stirred. And I tell you, when the waters is stirred, these powers that have put a barricade and said no man will rise maritally financially academically if you have been carrying an inherited disease don't say it's like that in our family this night you must begin to contend i can't remain ss simply because everyone is like that i can't remain as because everybody is like that i can't have eye problem because everybody has it get angry bring them Bring them, bring them in. Say 
of the Lord are in this place it's time for miracles it's time for that sickness to leave your body all those outside please lift your hands just those outside hallelujah there are so many angels outside listen there will be such a move of power and of the spirit outside hallelujah at the count of three you will shout jesus that fire devils will begin to cry and jump out just those outside are you ready now thank you jesus thank you for your power to heal to deliver to set free Thank you for the confirmation of your word right now in the name of Jesus those outside one two three shake the book of those just those outside the power of God is falling I command devils come out come out come out I command powers demon spirits I command them now by the fire of the Holy Ghost outside the angels of God are moving everywhere outside the power of God is shaking every demonic hole acts of witchcraft yokes curses those outside lift your hands again lift your hands I just want you to focus on the screen those of you outside in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I will count three and you will shout that name Jesus again no power will hide right now one two three go 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 come out come out of them Devils, yokes, bondages, by the fire. Please help the ushers if they need help. Help the ushers if they need help. I see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. And miracles everywhere. I say right now. And right now. Miracles.
your hands. Those outside, lift your hands. The power of God will move mightily inside this place right now and shake foundations. At the count of three, I want you to shout that name, Jesus. As you shout that name, Jesus. No instruments. At the count of three, no instruments. Just shout that name, Jesus. And the power of God will begin to deliver people inside here. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Sheketekete, rekotopos, embrebekete, lekotosoparia. The fire of God is coming down right now. Mightily, shekete, mekotosota, tekepriaskaba, sombretekete. Sekete, bring them out. Sekete, tetetete, kaprekete lebos, embrekete. Please help the ushers if they need more help. Sheparekata, mamprebotso protosh, ekrete lebos. Sekete, de 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 de. Sheproto sopaka, maprateko sopai, embreto stipali ala ba 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 ba. Hallelujah. This role, lift your hands. The angel of the Lord is standing in this role. I pray right now, every activity of witchcraft, according to what the Lord is showing me, those in this row right now in the name of Jesus I want you to shout Jesus right now one to go let it be shaken oh God now 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 and the fire break chains I command every force of darkness go, go, go come out right now come out right now come out right now be exposed come out right now come out right now there are still many people outside please outside lift your hands no devil will escape tonight outside at the top of your voice after the count of three many of you will feel fire as if it's just poured on you my god let no spirit let no spirit remain right now one two three Oh, 
All those that have come out Those in front here As a point of contact To those who are there By the blood I bring a separation I bring a separation By the blood now Now, now, now I bring a separation By the blood The mystery of the blood The mystery of the blood The mystery of the blood Bring the lady. Bring her here. Patekebosha. Aroshakata, Zekota Boba, Pompaniatosa, Aroshia Katuka, Pompale, Pompale, Soriato, Akata, Braki, Patapata, Suatebria, 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 Hallelujah. The God that we serve is not a dead God. The God that we serve is alive. He can change your life. The God that I serve is a living God. Bring the lady. Bring her here. 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 Now, leave her. Kapa. Out. Sheila. Never return again. Sheila. Sheila. Now, all the devils here, at the count of three, your exit comes. You hear my voice. I speak to you from the realm of the spirit. One, two. So go, 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 go. Out. 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 You must go by the power of the Holy Ghost. Go. 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 Be free. I set you free. Shiraba, 
Marital Give me your hands. Oh, With a loud shout, out you go. Now. Lay your hands on this girl. Let her go now. You are a wicked spirit. Out. I see you in the spirit. Go. Out of her. Now. Pray Go now. Let her go now. You are a wicked spirit. Take up out. Posha. Come out now. Posha. In the name of Jesus Christ. This serpent and spirit. Your time is over. Go. Listen. Some of you are not out here. But there are things that are already parting ways with you. Are you getting my point? I want to rebuke delay. Many of you do not know the danger of delay. If you are not experiencing any delay, no problem. But I'm just flowing as the Spirit of God. Where is your sister? Bring her. Sister, where are you? Please come and stand here. Your breakthrough has come. Marital delay, it will die now, at once. Hold my hands. Look at me. Just look at me. All right, then. You will leave her never ever to return to her again by the power of the Holy Ghost. Right now, I challenge you. Setekete palakata prakoto soba. Nembrendi zilekata. Reto shikata garado siza. Something will leave you right now. I'm seeing you tied in the spirit. Marital delay. Go. 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 Go.
never to return lay your hands on your stomach they will never say you have a fibro I cause that spirit is a family thing hold her this is a family thing may they be free oh God bring salvation to this family right now now in the name of Jesus Christ I set you free hallelujah lift your hands I tell you the devil hates this prayer because if he can get you to experience delay you will give up on your faith there are many of you there are levels you would have entered right now bring this lady yes come with her just clear the way for them let me just touch her head well done ushers let her be free let her go together with the delay listen lift your hands everybody outside lift your hands I'm about to challenge the spirit of delay you can't move forward because something is tying you down right now in the name that is above every other name every delay in this place at the count of three I command the devils be gone right now one, two, three go Go, 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 I cause delay, I cause delay, I cause delay, every kind of faith, every kind of delay, where is the woman I where is the woman I spoke about? One mama that was here. How are you, madam? You, you came alone? Where are they? Come, come. Who are those that came with mommy? Bring this woman here. Sorry, just take it easy so they don't. Tonight is a night of breakthrough. Where's the daughter? I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. God is going to visit you. This is witchcraft. Eh? Madam, this is witchcraft. I'm not going to go into lo any long story, but I need to pray for you. You believe that? This is your daughter? Yes, sir. How are you, my dear? I'm going to pray for you. Hold my hands. I'm seeing you tied. Kai, this is, this is acute witchcraft. Where are you from? I'm from Edo. Edo State? Yes, sir. Hold my hands. And I always find my spirit in the village. Ah, uh -uh, now, hold on. Why are you? I want to, it's just that I didn't want to talk to you. See, let me tell you something. Huh? The Lord is ministering to me and I'm seeing something that looks like a shrine. Are you listening to me? I'm seeing something that looks like a shrine in your village. When you sleep in the night, they call your spirit. Is that true? Yes, sir. Just if I'm lying, just yes, say I'm sir. lying. Yes, sir. When you sleep, where do you see yourself? I when? find myself in the village. You find yourself in the village. Yes. This is what I'm seeing. They are invoking her spirit. This is what that... That witch doctor tried to do to the spirit of Saul. You see that in the Bible. These people are necromancers. You will be free tonight. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
Can I pray for you? He is risen from the dead. He is Lord. Madam, look at me. Can you shout? If I ask you to shout, can you shout? I want you to shout Jesus at the top of your voice. Can you do that? Go ahead. Let her go now. Let her go now. Out. An end comes. I command breakthrough. Let this family change. Don't cry. Can I pray for you? Father, let this lady experience breakthrough. This is part of the Eh? Is you are the one that brought her. Celebrate this lady, please. You see why it's a blessing, madam. You feel pain. At, used to feel pain at your back. Eh? You came here sick. Look at you came here sick now. Come and walk. Let me see where the sickness is now. Don't worry. Come up. Just come up. Check yourself. Check. Do what you couldn't do. Check whether the pain is there. Do what you couldn't do. Just do it. I was already healed. Yeah. You were what? I was already healed. You were already healed. They yeah, be calling me to come for this program. I couldn't come. Even when I was in the shop, my daughter said, Mommy, come. I kept a seat for you. When you enter, the Holy Spirit said, That is the man that will deliver you. I gave my life to Christ 20 years ago. But there's battle. I always complain. Why am I seeing my spirit in the village? And anything we touch with my husband, there's nothing. I went to, even when you are preaching, you say some people will go to some me church to go and receive miracle. I went to, the last one I went to, I weep. I gave money, I cooked to this woman. He says it's a prophet. You cook for the prophetess? Who cook? And after I left the place, after I left the place, he just damaged my image, he was just say different things about me. And I'm not like that. And God did it for me today. I'm the Give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. You are the one that brought her. Are you her daughter? No, she's my neighbor. She's your neighbor. What do you want God to do for you? I just want to get admission. That's all. Admission? Yes. Where? Into university. Have you written jam? No, no. You are writing next week. Yes. Hold my hands. My God. In the name that is above all names. We give you admission in this place now. The God who is bigger than any registrar, bigger than any senate, he will come back and stand right here and testify. You have it in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, no power will stop you. I use this as a point of contact to everyone who is going to be writing jam whether for you or for your loved ones i tell you the truth and i lie not see listen prophecy every power that says you will not be admitted in the name that is above all names receive your admission receive your admission receive your admission receive your admission I provoke it by the power of the Holy Ghost receive your admission listen whether you know what you are writing or not May my God hold your hands. That oh, hand, that hand, oh, 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 that hey, 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 who says it, if I oh, be a servant of God, may my God hold your hand. Listen. Many of you do not know the power of prophecy. Prophecy is not just about speaking. It creates the scene for your breakthrough to happen. Oh. 
Zego paradia sagranda bali ke te subalote kada. Lekoto pradia saganda re yata gada baya. Parada shi amakrondi siza ma varadi yata. Zego shila. Give me her hands. She was coming to fight me now. Shila. All right, you must leave. No, don't put it in. Hold on. You must let her go. In the name of Jesus, the Christ. Out! You are a wicked spirit. By the power of the blood. Go, now! Don't waste our time here. Now! Thank you, Jesus. Be thou and throne on high and throne on high and throne on high. Help me worship us. Be thou and throne. going to visit the issue of marriage right now please i want you to listen i'm just flowing as the holy ghost is giving me grace sister look at me just look at my eyes you must release her right now it's time for you to go out you go now in the name of the lord jesus christ I set you free. Let it leave you now. Let it leave you now. Whether it's for yourself or for your loved ones, I want you to stand and agree right now. I'm about to command that spirit that causes late marriage. Please take it very serious. This is a miracle service. Don't say it doesn't concern you. And all I want you to do is just to shout amen. All the spirits that come to molest you and molest your loved ones and cause them not to get married in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that name that is above every other name In the name that is above all names, I pray right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Please get said, something mighty will happen in this place now. Every spirit that says there will not be marriage by the sword of Elohim, right now, as you shout, Jesus, they will depart from you now. One, two, go. 
every marital delay. Go, 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 go. Let marriage spirit us back out in the name of Jesus. I prophesy to you. May your life partner come into your life. I prophesy. I call for your life partner. Supernatural marriage. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A lady has been healed of chest condition outside. Check yourself and run out here. Check. It looks like altar. You just feel something leave you. Please check and run quickly. Quickly. Come and let God seal your miracle. The Lord just ministered to me. Please check. Check. Hallelujah. I'm about to pray for the sick right now. Every infirmity bows to the name of Jesus. God has healed a lady. A lady. Is that the lady? Another one? Come. Come. You've been healed. When God speaks to one, he speaks to many. Look at just one prophetic word. Give them the mic. Is it working? What happened to you? Just tell us quickly. Okay, I just felt a pain leave my chest. You felt something leave you. Yes. Do what you couldn't do before. I felt pain in my chest. Completely. Hold my hands. Never returns. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go forever. Come. What happened to you now? I have been having this burning pain here. You've been having burning I pain. How not, long? For I've how long? I've been on drugs for over two weeks now. You've been on drugs? Yes. Uh -huh. Drugs is even, in, is even in my bag right now. The drugs is go and bring yes. it. Talk to her. What happened? Please tell us. A sharp pain left me. A sharp pain right now just disappeared. Come on, are you celebrating Jesus? Look at the drugs. These are the drugs you take. In the name that is above all names, hold the drugs. Just hold it. Hold it. Look at me. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, you are perfecting her. She will not need these drugs again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Check yourself. God is healing more people with this kind of pain. If it's happening to you, come out right now. Come out. God is healing people. Ulcers. Ulcers are going right now. Okay, she's been healed. God bless you. It's perfected in Jesus' name. Talk to me. I've been having this pain of chest. Please make sure you don't tell lies. For the past two years now. For the I've past been, two years now. I've been two years. This chest pain. Chest pain. Yes, sir. Anytime okay. Anytime I try to breathe, it will hold. It will when hold you try me. to breathe, it will hold it you. To hook me. Uh huh. Sometimes I'll be crying, praying. My mom said that it is over, but I've been going to hospital to collect drugs. But I told my mom I couldn't. I can't take any drugs again. But I believe that God will heal me one day, one time. What happened right now? When you said that we should check, and when you prayed, I felt that I felt that something is out of me, and now I'm healed. Breathe. Do breathe in deep. Any pain? No, any sir. pain? No. Sir. Just keep breathing. The power of God is coming on you. Lord, let that be the end of it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Perfection in the name of Jesus Christ. Come. All right. I've been having this chest pain for over two years and six months. Two years, six, six months. months. Yes. Pain. If I breathe in, it just pain. Okay, me. breathe in now. Breathe in right now. What happened to you right now? It's free. Complete pain. Hold my hands. Lord, it never returns to him again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Since 2006. Yes, and recently. Peptic ulcer. Yes. You are sure, confirmed. Yes. Okay. And last week, the thing started coming back again, and the pain was so severe. At times, it doesn't allow me to sleep at night. But as we we're outside and we shouted Jesus, I felt. You felt something. Yes. That so wicked said, thing that has sat there, it must pack his load and leave this night. I felt. Hold my hands. I use this as a point of contact to every area of your body. That whatever has not been planted by my God lives your life forever. If you have problem in your eyes, God is going to heal all kinds of eye problems right now. Lay your hands there, please. I want to pray. 
Lay your hands. Please believe. Thank you, Jesus. When I pray for you, check yourself. And if you see a miracle run out here, even if you see that it has started, please don't tell lies. We are not playing gimmicks here. Some of you think it's an eye problem. But it's a demonic thing. I'm about to command it to leave you. Thank you, Jesus. Even itching in the eyes will leave. Thank you, Jesus. Now, I command. Eyes be healed. Be healed. Now, be healed. Be healed. Every blind eye open. Every blind eye open. Partial blindness be gone. In the name of Jesus. Long sightedness. Short sightedness. Glaucoma. Every eye condition. Be healed now. Please be checking yourselves. Check yourselves. God is doing miracles now. Check yourselves. If you have any growth in your body, please check yourself. As you see God touching you, come out. You, I tell you, God is healing people. If there is any growth in any part of your body, what's wrong with him? Eye problem. Bring him. God is healing people. Look at, look at a miracle. Look at a big miracle. Look at, look at this. Look at this. Look at what is happening to these people. Look at, eyes are opening. Come on, give Jesus praise. Eyes are opening. Receive your miracle. Receive your miracle. Every kind of eye condition. Hallelujah. We'll take the testimony. Check yourself. Don't let the devil stop you. What's, his, what's the problem with him? Look at this. He can't. Eh? Praise the Lord. No, 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 no. There's no time for that. What is wrong with him? There's... I can see. Completely. Yes. Who brought him here? We came together. With him. Mama. Okay, I'm going to pray for him. As I pray for him, keep testing him. When he can see you, just try him out. The Lord will heal him. Lay your hands on your... No, no, let, let him lay his hands on your eyes. Lay your hands by yourself on your eyes. I command new eyes by the power of the Christ. How long has this been? Does she speak English? One year, two months. Yeah. What happened to him? Uh, uh, it was glaucoma. It's glaucoma. So we went to the hospital and the doctor told me that he couldn't cure me, that she go meet any man of God to heal me. That he cannot help you. Yeah, so I'm from Zankwa in Zankwa local government. So I had you, this You came program. all the way from Zankwa? Yes, sir. Oh my God. Jesus healed his eyes. Glaucoma, I command you to be gone. Bow to the name of Jesus. Bow to the name of Jesus. I command his eyes to open. Right now. Open. Right now. Please check him. Test him. See, test him. Test him. Just test him. If he's seen anything, can you say, don't be afraid. This is a factory. Just test him. Sister, stand up. What is it? Eh? You saw light. What are you seeing? Oh my God. Look at how this guy's eyes is so damaged. Huh? Can you see anything? I can't see. Look the at the only thing I saw was the light I saw and it went. You saw light? Yeah, when you just finished praying. So I just opened my eye, then it went off again. Okay, just keep looking at me. Please don't give up. Alright? Get him a seat. Just keep looking at me. What happened to you? I saw a sharp light in my eye. You saw a sharp light. You see the same light again. Yes, a sharp light. You've been in using my, glasses. I've been using glasses over two and a Who half knows years her? Now. Who knows her? Ah, okay, you all know. Who is your roommate? Roommate, where are you? Come now. Roommate, when we say roommate, where are you? You come out. You know her? So that you don't come out. You see, you know why we are doing this? Because of the stupidity around the body of Christ. Some people now can think that this is stage managed. Are you getting what I'm saying? That's why we are calling the roommate. Do you know me? Huh? No, what I mean is, do I have a personal relationship with you? What happened now? Tell us the truth. I saw a sharp light in my eyes. A sharp and I, light. I, I fell down. And then you fell under yes. the anointing. For, for two and a half years, I can't concentrate for long. I can't read for more than one hour. 
tears will just start falling off my eyes each until you use glasses. Yes, until Give I us use something glasses. to read. Something tiny. Bible. Where are those small, small Bibles? Read Isaiah 60, verse 1 and 2. I'm holding your glasses. Arise and shine, for the light has come. The glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Come on, Behold, give Jesus praise. I see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. This boy, okay. Father, How are you? Father. Okay, wait, hold on. Let's hear the boy. Who brought him? I come alone. Alone. Yes, okay. Sir. He's old enough to respond now for himself. Is that true? Okay, what happened to you? As Please make sure we verify this. As I was praying from outside. Okay. Something entered me. So as as I fell down and I'm come here. Now I, I, I can't feel anything again. You then can't later, somebody hold me. Before I know, something started began working on my stomach. Something started working in your stomach. Yes, How sir. do you feel now? Was he blind? What was wrong? I Please feel check. better. You feel better. Yes, you were sir. sick. What was wrong with you? I was having stomach ache. Stomach ache. Yes, sir. Lay your hands. It must be perfected right now. Lay, hold me with one hand. You will see something moving and that will be the end of it. Thank you, Jesus. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Who brought this small boy? I brought myself. You brought, eh? I brought myself. You brought yourself. Ha! Could you speak English when you were his age? What's your name? My name is Victor. Your name is what? Victor. Victor. <laughs> you mean they allow little children to come on their own like this? Is he lives around or he took transport? No, I came with my parents. Oh, you came with your parents? Yes. Oh, beautiful. What was wrong with you? My eyes was itching me. Your eyes used to eat you? Yes. And then what happened? But now I can't feel it again. You can't feel it again? <laughs> to the shame of the devil. Father, let this be perfected in the name of Jesus Christ. Who else? Who else? Please. Only eye conditions. Okay. Praise God. I had these itchy eyes and it's always bringing out tears. The doctor recommended glasses, but I didn't go back to the doctor because okay. I didn't want to use them. But there, something hit my stomach and my eyes. Where? When I was standing over when there. When you were standing there. Who saw her? Is that true? Okay. Yes, sir. So I and it's gone. Yes. Praise the Lord to the shame of the devil. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is perfected never to return again. From the beginning of this month, I've been having this. I don't know. Every time I read, I skip the word or I just go blank. I don't know why. And it started from January. You what? I skip the word. Like when I start reading, I just skip the word or I just go blank. I don't know what happens to me what and you today go yeah or something? today i was in class and my i was, were reading my friend was not asking me what's wrong with me i'm reading the word i'm mixing the word i'm like it started since this year and she's like okay that i need glasses i'm like i don't need glasses oh when you are reading yes the, you will be skipping yes, the words I'll, I'll, skip the word, I'll go blank and i don't know why what happened to you now when we we're praying i laid my hands on my and my hands on my eye and then a light just just hit me and my hands touched light me. again you see and the light my eyes got very hot and then your I eyes it got open, hot yes and you felt it open, open to the shame of the devil it will never come back again read isaiah 51 just verse 1 and 2 let's and see to me ye that follow after righteousness ye that seek the lord look unto the rock whence ye are hand and to the whole of the Pit, whence ye are digged, look unto Abraham your father, and unto Sarah that bear you. For I call him alone, and, and blessed, I blessed and him, blessed him, and I increased, and increased him. him. God bless you. It never returns in Jesus' name. You too. Yeah. Come. Okay. It started 2011. Um, I was having a pain in my eyes and an itch. So it's, I feel like um, each time it comes, I feel 
heaviness in my eyes. You feel heaviness so in your eyes. So when I went to Chica, they told me it's pterygium. That is it's mostly pterygium. That is, I'm not supposed to survive. It. That is some, it's prominent among um, old people. So and when I went, they prescribed some medications for me. I went, I went and got them. Right now? So what but while the prayer was going on, I felt that heaviness was relieved from my eyes. It completely? Yeah. You feel any pain now? No. It's gone completely. Yeah. May it be perfected in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Sweetheart, how are you? What's your name? Mercy. We have brilliant children in Koinonia. Thank you, Jesus, for giving us smart children. You came on your own? My sister brought you. Oh, your sister brought you. What was wrong with you? My eyes took Your eye used to eat you. Is he eating you now? What happened? When, when I was praying, I put my eyes. You played your hand on your eyes. Uh-huh. I saw that the thing have gone. Completely. Lord, in the name of Jesus, may it never return. In Jesus' name. All right, the last person. Okay. Sir, my eyes sometimes used to pain me. So, uh, me and my mother, we went to sick bay. They said that I needed classes. Okay. But since that day, my mother and I never went. So, sometimes I'll, my eyes would be itching me. I was okay. like... Start, start feeling sleepy, but now it has gone. But now it has gone completely. Thank you, Jesus. May it never return again in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, while the worship team just leads us in a powerful session of worship, I want you to line up all the sick people, especially if you came here from outside Zaria, please, let's give you priority. Just come out quickly and then the rest join them. Please, you came with a sick person. Now is the time to heal, to, to, uh, to, for them to receive their healing. Very, very quickly. Please, we have a lot to do. Time is not on our side. Very quickly. Very quickly. Worship team, please help us. Hallelujah. Please bring them out quickly. Line them up very quickly. Please help them. Protocol ushers, direct them. Please, let's save time inside and outside. If you are sick, whether you are outside Zaria or not, just come. Please, come out. Now is the time for you to be healed. Thank you, Jesus, for your healing power. Those of us who are seated, begin to pray in tongues, please. My Don't be distracted. God is awesome. He can move that mountain of sickness will be moved right now. Whatever it is. Please keep coming quickly. Come and line, line yourself. As you come, just be praying and say, Lord, this is it. I am parting with this sickness. Hide me from the rain. Say, My God, heals me when I'm broken. Strength where I've been weakened. Forever He will reign. My God is. check yourself begin to check yourself let's pace them very quickly hallelujah as i pray for you please i want you to believe i already sense the healing anointing very strong on my hands and as i pray for you you'll be healed you'll be delivered no matter what it is please don't go back the same you don't have to go back the same you do not have to go back the same no matter what the issue is i want you to know that you are parting with this sickness right now thank you jesus Lord, I give you praise. It's in the name of Jesus Christ.
with him. He has what? What's the wait? Hold on. What's the issue? Yes, with my bike. And the leg broke. Wait! You don't try to lift him. This guy had an accident. Look just, at me. Since I when? I think a week ago now. You, you can't walk. The the nurse bandaged my leg. So then what happened? I started. I couldn't walk very well again, so I removed the bandage. Why did you remove the bandage? Because pulse was going out. Pulse was going out of the leg. Yes. Where is it? Ah, oh, goodness. Look at this. Look at me, brother. Yes, sir. Look at me. He's paining you now. Look at me. Just stretch the leg. Look at me. It's a demon. This is not accident. Thank you, Jesus. Look at everybody seeing it. I'm happy you're seeing it. Show them, please. Put it on the screen. Now let this leg be healed right now. Right now. In the name of the Christ. Can you see the guy has suddenly become relaxed? This is somebody that could not sit down. Something affected the bone in the accident. I joined this bone back. Now. Who is a witness that he really had the accident? Who knows? You saw him limping when he came. Okay. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Something is happening to you. Thank you, Jesus. I fix this leg right now. Within days, this thing will dry up. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Walk. Walk. Come. Come. Walk. Come, come, walk. Do what you couldn't do. Just do what you couldn't do. Don't, don't, just do what you couldn't do. See, he's surprised. He's shocked looking at his leg. <laughs> ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Give Jesus praise. Thank you, Jesus. Look at, look at this. Look at what, hold on. See, the guy, what is happening to you? The leg is drying up. The leg is drying up. Drying you are up. feeling it now. Yes. Everybody clear the way for him. Rush, go and come back. Walk, go and come back. Go down there and come back. Look at this guy could not walk. He had an accident with this leg. Come, walk as fast as you can. Walk as fast as you can. Look at the boy is crying. Look at this. Lift your hands and thank the Lord. No man can do these things except God be with him. This is not for the glory of any man. Lord, we give you praise for that which you are doing in our midst. This leg dries up in the name of Jesus Christ. My God is awesome. He can move mountains Phew. Keep me in the valley Hide me from the rain My God Heals me when I'm broken Strength when I'm in
God is awesome. He is He's awesome. Injection. It spoils the leg. Which of them? The right. You've never been able to use it. No, except with age. Except? With an age. Try to move it. I can move it. Just where is which one? Which of them? Try to move it. Eh? Just do what I'm telling you to do. Try to stamp it. Without this, eh? Not far. But can you walk without this? Shortly. Very short. Mm. Can you try? Right now? Sure. Do you think you can? Hold my hands. Let's try. Stand up. Look at me. If anybody supports you, if someone supports you, will you be able to walk? If nobody supports you, can you walk? You will fall. Yes. Okay, let's see. Try to walk. Come. Are you getting it? Do you understand? Don't hold 
Just pray. Hold my hands. That devil of diabetes. It's time for you to leave now. Hypertension. You are a spirit. I command you out of her life and out of her family. Mommy, be healed now. Now. Take off everything you have put in her stomach and out you go now. Now! Did you bring your prayer requests? Please start passing them quickly. Look at me. God is healing you right now. The power of God is going through your hands. You're being healed right now. Pass your last, pass the request to the last person at the side. Outside, please do the same thing. Let's save time. Everything you have written on this request will be answered in the name of Jesus. Please pass it, pass it quickly. Lord, she's totally free. You are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised. Beautiful for all. You are the joy of the whole. Us quickly, quickly, quickly. If you don't have your request, right? You are quickly. the joy of the whole world. You are the great and mighty God. Yeah. Whole world. You are the great and mighty 
anyone attending to those outside? Those outside, please. Let's have their request. I hope there's a way of getting the ones on, fa on Facebook and all of that. If we can't, we can just reach out to them by faith. Please make sure that you have a prayer request. God answers prayers here. Yeah. Please, everybody, rise if you can. Please, this is a very prophetic moment. Please, we'll start praying. The rest can come and join us. The other one. Pastor, please. Praise God. Listen. Please understand that this is not a religion that is done every miracle Sunday. This is done on instruction and this is biblical. The Bible says when Ezekiah was threatened, he took the threat letter before God on the altar and dropped it there. Are you getting my point? These requests have threatened the lives and the families of many of us. That's why we are bringing it before God and we are saying, Lord, if you do not step in, nothing can be done. But I want you to know that within the next five minutes or thereabout, as we begin to prophesy and lay hands on this, the angel of the Lord's presence will go to different families, different places and begin to work miracles. Hallelujah. So all you're going to do is just stretch your hands here and be praying in tongues while the worship team leads us in worship. Just keep worshiping as they pray in tongues. Is that okay? Please go ahead. Shekata ba 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 ba. You do wonders in me. Shekata ba 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 kata ba. Unto you that answers prayer will all flesh come. My God, in the name of Jesus, we trust you. Stretch your hands, O God, and visit your people. Stretch your hands, O God, and visit your people. Stretch your hands, O God, hands, o God. in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Stretch your hands, O God. Lord, let impossible miracles happen. We bring this before the altar. That which threatens the Christian experience of your people. My God, I pray that every request here be turned into testimonies. Let there be deliverances, O God. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, 
Sara praki jali ma zata la broki jili bana zata ya. Rika lo jali kra zata ta pata shitaba. A God of all flesh jara pakata shilia. Le zari ka pata sha. We declare la zata pata sha. The one that parted the Red Sea. Raka pata shitalaba. Ribi zuri brani ne kocho shitalaba. Do the impossible right now. Do the impossible. Do the impossible. Do the impossible. You break upon the rings and you part it into two. Do the impossible right now. Behold the request of your people. Behold their heart desires. Let there, let there be miracles now. Intervene now. Intervene now. Intervene now. In the name of Jesus. We declare way where there seems to be no way right now. In the name of Jesus. Lord, as a result of an intervention, let there be influx of testimonies. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That which was impossible with men, oh God, will they will declare. That with this request, so oh God, let, the, let there be possibility right now. In the name of Jesus. Miracles. Miracles. Open doors. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God, for your great intervention. Thank you, mighty God, for the great turnaround. Bless the name forevermore. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Celebrate Jesus. We command that these requests be turned into testimonies. In the name of Jesus, let there be mighty miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please, everyone, stand. Everywhere, please stand. I'm about to prophesy into our lives. Lay your hand on our chest. Out now. release her and go now hallelujah and he said to me prophesy and I prophesied as I was commanded not as I wanted I prophesied as I was commanded and there was a sound a rattling sound and bones began to be joined to bones and he said unto me son of man prophesy to the four winds and I prophesied O wind breathe upon the slain and the wind came and breathed upon the slain and there stood an exceeding great army I want to prophesy over your life I want you to shout amen at the top of your voice. Please believe it. Prophecy is creative. Hallelujah. Please play strings. Thank you, Father, because you always hear me when I call. Lord, as I prophesy over your people, let it not be a ritual, I pray. Nothing will happen if your power does not make it happen. Therefore, I pray that the angels that confirm the words of his messengers, may they back this word and bring it to pass. Let this word become your word, O God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let this word become your word, O God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let this word become your word, O God. 
hallelujah and Melchizedek blessed Abraham and said blessed be Abraham son of the most high possessor of the heavens and the earth and the prophet said in Samaria by this time tomorrow by this time tomorrow the Bible says believe in the Lord your God and you shall be established he said believe in his prophets and you shall prosper by a prophet he brought them out of Egypt and by a prophet they were preserved he says he that receives a prophet in the name of a prophet will receive a prophet's reward do the impossible do the impossible i'm not singing just concentrate my god would you step in and do the impossible do the impossible change the unchangeable change the unchangeable my god step in to the impossible to the impossible please lift your hands In the name that is above all names the name that causes demons to tremble the name that causes breakthrough and deliverance I command right now let there be supernatural restoration for everything that you have lost restoration now restoration now restoration by the power of the holy ghost receive restoration everything you have lost for whatever reason it was lost i command restoration of opportunities in the name of jesus restoration of destiny help us restoration of the years that the canker worm has eaten now hallelujah every handwriting against your destiny that has said 2014 will be a year of frustration in the name that is above all names be cancelled now. 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 In the book of Job, he says. In six things will he deliver you, yea, in seven things. And one of them is the scourging tongues of men. When men sit down and make enchantments in the name of the God that I serve, every cause, every pronouncement over your life, because now, because now, because now, because now. Then the Bradisha la Cabaro Satana Manhattan. For he has broken the gates of brass and he has caught. 
the ions in sonder my god i pray every door that has been closed over your people in the name that is above all names if god be in this place i command those two leaf gates be open now be open now i prophesy be open now by the power of prophecy be open now everyone called jobless in this place in the name that is above every other name Satele kabande kretisa ka ashetete balakata prege de balada bagada baga. Is there any man in the house of Saul that I may show him kindness? And they brought Mephibosheth, a man who was not qualified, but the favor of God made him to sit at table with David. I pray by the favor of God, wherever you need favor for jobs. I prophesy receive it now receive it now from the north to the south to the east to the west I command jobs every man that has said over his dead body for you to move forward may his prophecy come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ I want to break that power that limits men every limitation every embargo that has been placed over your life that is said thus far have you come I speak from the heavens in the name of Jesus limitations be lifted now be lifted now be lifted now I command break records break records set new records do what has not been done I pray for everyone whose family member is overdue to be promoted the Bible says withhold not good from who him who is due when it is within your power to do so it is within their power to bring the promotion therefore i pray in the name that is above all names we enforce that promotion now we enforce it now everything that has died in your life hear ye the word of the lord come alive now Dead relationships come alive now. I pray for your academics. For he has given me the tongue of the learned that I may know how to speak the word induces into him that is weary he said my tongue is the pen of the right the ready writer my heart has indicted a good matter yea i speak of excellent things daniel was made 10 times better he said i will give you a wisdom and a mouthpiece that your enemies will not be able to resist nor gain say that when you stand before them you shall not think of what to say for in that very hour it will be the spirit of your father speaking i pray everyone called god i change that testimony now everyone on probation we take you out of it now we take you out of it now everyone on probation we take you out of it now every missing script every injustice done to everyone i command the angel of the lord to go to every department every faculty let justice be done in the name of jesus
and everyone that has vowed that you will not graduate in the name that is above all names we graduate you right here we graduate you right here in the name of jesus christ we graduate you right here that cause of hardship that is upon our families they walk like elephants and eat like ants tonight in the name that is above all names let that cause of hardship be lifted let it be lifted i speak to every job here receive increase i speak to every business here grow i command you to grow i speak to every ministry expand and break levels in the name of jesus christ let the favor of god that can mark you and distinguish you among your peers i prophesy may that mantle of favor hit you where you are in the name of jesus christ may that favor hit you where you are in the name of jesus may that favor hit you where you are may that favor change you may it cause men to bless you hallelujah and i pray may the presence of god go with you everywhere you go everyone struggling with any habit here that is not of god pornography masturbation whatever it is it ends here tonight in the name of jesus christ it ends here tonight in the name of jesus christ it ends here tonight in the name of jesus christ Every dead spiritual life. Every dead prayer life. Every dead word study life. In the name that is above all names. Come alive now. Receive the fire for prayer. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it the fire for prayer take it the spirit of prayer and supplication take it let it come upon you like a tornado in the name of jesus grace to pray grace to study grace to understand hallelujah every hidden gift every hidden talent every ability that can bless you that has refused to arise i pray the bible says the gift of a man makes room i pray every hidden gift that the devil has buried i prophesy let it come alive and bless you now let it come alive and bless you now. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head when I cry for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. One more time. Thank you for lifting. 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 My head. My head. Hallelujah. Please remain standing. There are people here tonight who are saying, I'm tired of my life. 
I'm tired of living my life the way I want. I need to surrender my life to a God that is higher and greater than me. Some of you have probably given your heart to the Lord. Please listen. But tonight Jesus is calling. You may have a Christian name. That's not the same as salvation. You may even be a pastor. That's not the same as salvation. Tonight the Lord is calling many of you who have been living your lives your own way to relinquish that hold and surrender it completely. I'm going to make an altar call. Just one to five. I want you to run from outside, from inside. Please run like your life depends on it. You are saying, Lord, I am tired. Take it. Take it. It is yours and I'm giving it back to you. I am tired of living life my own way. I have done my best. I relinquish that whole one. Please rush quickly. Celebrate them as they come. Two. Uh -huh. Just come out. As you stand here, just begin to pray. And say, Lord, take over. Take over. That's the song. God bless you. You are saying, Lord, I surrender everything. I've been living my life the way I want. But tonight, I'm in business with you. Four. Please don't let anybody stop you from coming. Don't let the devil say you are too far. Start running from there. Young and old. Join us. If you are coming, please keep running. Don't let the devil stop you. Don't let your friend or your family members stop you. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you for all those coming. Thank you for that bold step. Don't let your friends stop you. Thank you. Our mother is coming. God bless you. God bless you. No matter how old, no matter how young, Jesus is calling you tonight. God is still speaking to you. You are saying, Jesus, take everything. Take over. I'm tired of living my life my own way. To you. hallelujah i salute every one of you for coming don't make this an emotional decision mean it from the depths of your heart no matter what you have done wrong no matter how you've lived your life i want you to know that there is a fountain that flows from emmanuel's veins and that fountain flows to bless you it flows to wash you it flows to cleanse you lift your right hand and say this from the depths of your heart Please, you are not reciting a poem. This is between you and the Lord Jesus tonight. Hallelujah. Say after me, Lord Jesus. I come before you. Unable to help myself. I ask you to help me. Cleanse me. Wash me. With your precious blood. I truly repent of my sins. In the name of Jesus, I receive eternal life into my spirit from today. No backsliding. Some of you, as you are praying this, I tell you, the power of the devil will be broken. All of the chains. You're going to say, Satan, I denounce you right now. Take your hands and live my life. I declare that I'm saved. I'm a child of God. The Lord will use me to do mighty things for his glory. I cut away from wrong associations and everything that takes your place in my life. From today, I'm sold out and totally surrendered. Now keep your hands lifted. Father, bless these ones. You have brought them, use them mightily. Let the power of sin be broken in their lives. Let the power of the grave be broken. Let the power of the flesh be broken. Anoint them and use them mightily, O oh God. Let this not be a, an emotional decision. Let this be a genuine decision. In the name of Jesus, make mighty men out of them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Congratulations. I want you to look at me. 
I congratulate you for this great decision. Everyone here made this decision at one point. Now I'd like you to just follow our ushers. There's a wonderful sister waving her hand. I want you to just follow them. They'll have, they'll give you some information and they'll meet with you tomorrow. God bless you. Please follow them. Follow them very quickly, please. All those worshiping with us for the first time, if this is your first time here at Koinonia, we love you. Please leave your seat and run out here quickly and let us pray and speak a word of blessing. God bless you. If this is your first time, wherever you are, just run and come. There is a special blessing for you. Don't wait for your neighbor. You are the first person. Koinonia, is this the best you can do for them? Thank you. Thank you for coming. We celebrate you. We honor you. We thank you. Keep coming. Don't stop. We have a prayer for you and we have a blessing. And all those who took the pain to invite anybody here, may God invite all the blessings you need in your life. I'm very serious. I'm not just saying it. If anyone came here as a result of your invitation, I pray that my God will invite every good thing and every good person into your life in Jesus' name. Thank you for coming. This is Koinonia. We love you. We bless you. I believe you are blessed tonight. You will never be the same in the name of Jesus Christ. Prophesy upon their lives, Koinonia. Bless them. We speak the blessings of the heavens upon your life. We bless you with the blessings of the house. We bless you with prosperity. We bless you with hunger for the things of the spirit. We bless you with wisdom and revelation and understanding. We bless you with grace. We bless you with the power of the Holy Spirit. May you experience the life of God in a new dimension. May God plant a hunger for spiritual things in you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you once again for coming. We love you. We're always here Fridays. And I assure you that your life will never be the same. Please, you follow the ushers. They will have your details. They will welcome you more on our behalf. And you will be back to your seat. God bless you. Thank you very much. Celebrate them, Koinonia. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.